Today in Sporty News, Rafa won't be going to London. As Latin, his father, mother, children, and wife. Marco Verratti makes a cameo appearance. American athletes wear Chinese uniforms. And Federer celebrates his new lucky number. It's the media bombshell of the day and the latest installment of our ongoing They Won't Be Going to London saga. Rafael Nadal, the reigning Olympic tennis champion, has pulled out of the Olympic Games because of tendon problems in his left knee. Nobody saw it coming, even though just a few weeks ago the Spaniard cancelled an exhibition match against Novak Djokovic that was to take place in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium in his home country, Spain. No one seemed too concerned at the time, thinking it was just a precautionary measure. Guess again, the dreaded tendonitis has dashed his dreams of re-editing his Olympic exploits. To make matters worse, he was to be the flag bearer of the Spanish delegation. He won't get that honor either. A dark day indeed for Nadal. I'm not in condition to compete in the London Olympics. It's one of the saddest moments of my career, he said. We're sad too. PSG has its new star, so now we want to know absolutely everything about Zlatan Ibrahimovic. We've already mentioned his passion for martial arts. Today we'll be learning more about the Swedish giant, the family man. Zlatan arrived in Paris with his wife and two sons, aged four and six. Mrs. Ibrahimovic's name is Helena Sager, and she's Swedish just like him. This former model decided to put her career on the back burner to raise their two adorable children. Interestingly enough, Helena is 11 years older than Zlatan, a rather conventional family life which contrasts with the one he had growing up. His parents got divorced when he was very young, leaving him to his own devices. A difficult childhood in a tough neighborhood. Football was Latin's ticket out of the ghetto. I'm born in Sweden. My father is Muslim, my mother is Catholic, and uh, but we were raised in a different way. I mean, uh, the whole family, we were pretty big mix. I have uh, three sisters, two brothers, and we have different mothers and different fathers. So, but we were raised in a different way. So, let's say I don't, I follow follow myself. I don't believe pretty much in religion, and uh, but it has nothing to do with the football because in football is one religion, and everybody is welcome. We haven't stopped talking about Zlatan's arrival in PSG, so much so that the club's other new recruit, Marco Verratti, was a bit of an outsider during his very own presentation conference. The name doesn't ring a bell, hardly surprising, unless you're an Italian football buff. The 19-year-old former Serie B player has just signed with Paris Saint-Germain for $15.9 million. A dream come true for the young midfielder. It was a great first impression. My new teammates are great champions, players I'm used to seeing on TV, and now I'm training with them. I feel extremely proud. Having a young player like me join such a big club isn't something you see every day. I'll do my best to make PSG proud. That's exactly what the PSG owners and fans want to hear, Marco. Sport and politics. American athletes dressed in Made in China uniforms have caused a full-blown controversy. The little Made in China tag sewn into the official kits designed by Ralph Lauren for the 530 American athletes who will be competing in London are not going down too well in the States. For once, Democrats and Republicans agree. Top marks for most violent reaction goes to Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, who declared they should take all the uniforms, put them in a big pile and burn them and start all over again. China fired back, calling on universal values to defend the hard work put into the uniforms by the country's workers. 287 weeks as world number one, and now that calls for a celebration. To pay tribute to Roger Federer's latest record, surpassing that of Pete Sampras as world number one, Nike has decided to create a special shoe. Nike has made 287 pairs of black and gold Zoom Vapor Roger Federer 287s, a reference to the number of weeks Roger has spent at the top. The Swiss champion got his pair, the 287th, before everyone else. The 286 other pairs have been put up for auction and come in a custom-made numbered box. The happy owners of these limited edition kicks will also get a certificate of authenticity signed by Roger Federer himself. These limited edition souvenirs cost $287, of course. A good investment considering Federer's incredible winning streak.